Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys, Capricorn? Hope you're well. Just want to share this affirmation. Stop trying to be so normal. Be more of the real you. Show the world who you are. Okay, don't be afraid to show your uniqueness. Okay, just be yourself when you're dating. That way you're attracting somebody who's uh, like-minded. Okay, somebody who uh, could be your type. Yeah. All right, Capricorn. New love prospects or connections for, whoops, Capricorn. There we go. Oh, you have an opportunity, Capricorn. Could be a date, a love letter. Oh, you got someone very curious about you. Someone's shining a light here. They're looking for a little clarity <laughs> before they communicate. <laughs> mm hmm. Someone who chooses their words wisely, but they want to offer you something. Yeah, see, this is someone who's trying to figure things out here. You could be the one that got away, too. This could be someone you already know. Uh, but often this is an energy of someone who's trying to figure things out. They're very logical. Uh, this energy of the time may be running out. You can see there's a statue um, sitting there melting. So it has to do with this person. I feel this is somebody who's kind of... You know, choosing their words, looking for clarity to do with this opportunity. Now, you know, this could even be yourself just curious about this. But this Seven of Swords, and it could be the one that got away. Very well could. But it's often energy of someone who um, is looking for clues. Maybe somebody sent you an offer. This is often the energy of being stood up. Yeah, someone's got a little bit of fear here. See, they're looking for clarity. They're looking uh, for something. So there's definitely some something romantic here. Could be a person, like I say, they may reach out here. See, Seven of Cups. Someone's hiding their true self, hiding behind a mask, how they truly feel. Yeah, you could be the one that got away here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some Cancer energy here. We'll see. Yeah, see, there's two cards. Oh, yeah, this is someone who needs to take that leap of faith. This is someone who needs to take a risk. I feel this is someone who feels that probably that you could be the one that got away or they don't want you to be, but they're definitely looking for some kind of clarity. There's something that they want to know here, but they want to offer you something. This is someone putting their best foot forward, taking a leap of faith. They're going to push through this fear. And it could be where they feel time is running out, you know, that you may get away. Um but they're definitely very logical. They're looking at the facts of the situation. And I feel they're, it, it's likely going to be the way they communicate. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who is indecisive, failing to, they fail to recognize something here. Yeah, or they're just indecisive. It's someone who's unable to make a decision. They're looking for some kind of clarity. They're back and forth in their head. Mm -hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? See, they're choosing their words wisely. They're choosing their battles. So this is someone who's becoming a little more decisive. This is good because they're making some headway here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, very logical person. They get into their head, you know. So there it is. Yeah. So this has to do with dating. Some kind of invitation. Um, someone may have stood somebody up here or maybe they if they offer you this, they feel like you won't show up. But they're looking for the clarity, and that's what's interesting. They're curious, but they're in their head. They haven't, it's where they haven't made a decision. Now they're becoming more sure of themselves here, but they're choosing their battles. Is this something worth fighting for? You see, you're going after. It's like, I feel they don't want you to get away, whoever they are. Now, you could have other people around you. This person could be checking you out in your community. Could be any place, somewhere out in the community, online dating, anywhere. Yeah, there's something they want to know, but I feel they're going to push through that fear. And it's more than likely not sure if you're dating or seeing someone. If they are someone who are around you, they may see people around you and they're not sure. Because they're certainly, this is someone who wants to win, right? They want this, but, you know, it starts off as being uh, curious and then the energy becomes more decisive, yeah, see, they want to build. So this could be somebody in your place of business that's kind of has some feelings here and they're keeping it to themselves. Yeah, could be someone you work with. Oh, boy. It's the energy of building. Someone perfecting their craft and skills, you see. Yeah. There's something they want to know. 
I feel it's probably somebody who's kind of a little bit of a secret admirer, someone who's not showing their true self that you work with. <laughs> they may act a little aloof at times as well. It could even be yourself because I'm feeling this is that, you know, someone who, who's puts her head down, uh, getting to the task at hand here, acting like they're busy working when they're actually having romantic thoughts here. Yeah, but someone could be acting aloof, yeah. See, this is yourself. You're focused on work. You're not that focused on your love life, but you have someone here who's definitely, I've seen this for you. You've got, it's either, if this, this may not be for some of you, but I've seen this like three or four times now over the last six weeks or a few months where you have somebody who's not showing their true self. Okay, having romantic thoughts. Uh, you're busy working. It could be someone kind of watching you working. Uh, but they want to build, you see. And you're focused on your money. You've got your head down here. And I feel it's an energy of the seven of cups, some kind of a decision. This person's trying to make a decision. They're definitely a person who's indecisive. and But as they go through this motions, you can see them. they wanting to fight for this. And they're in their head. They have to make a decision. Yeah, see, there it is. They're in a hurry. This person's in a hurry. Um, you could be the one that, or they're worried you're going to get away. You have people around you that you have other invitations and multiple opportunities. You may have opportunities around you you may not be aware of, and that could be your message because you got your, you're so busy focused on work and other things. We know the Queen of Pentacles loves a comfortable home and likes to keep things kind of balanced and organized. So you could be just focused on those things. Definitely, uh, you know, the energy of work and building and money. You know, some mystery here to do uh, with this. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. So this has to do with the timing. Um, it says it, it, in, when I see this, it's about the timing being right now. <laughs> you see, they're going to offer you something here. Yeah, they're gonna they're pushing through this fear. They may have a little Aries in their chart, but they don't have to. I do see some Cancer energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies here, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something that's about to go in your favor. You have a cycle that's ending, all work and no play. Hmm, is that you? <laughs> Yeah, so you got someone who wants to date you. They they definitely got some of that Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Oh yeah, this is taking a leap in lo into love here. It's a bond, a connection here. This is somebody who wants to build something. They see you as somebody who's definitely marriage material, somebody that um, works very hard, very grounded, sensible, practical. So there's something that they really see. They seal that wheel of fortune. So this person definitely sees that you have a lot to offer. There's a lot of abundance here. They, this is someone who sees things other people don't see. You see, they are um, someone who they want to win, though. Let me tell you, they're trying to figure out how to invite you somewhere or how to if you are, if you have a place where you go to have lunch or coffee or a place where you go where there's like-minded people, some place in your community, this person's likely not saying anything. Like I say, you could be going to their place of business. <laughs> um, it could be that way as well. But I, I, I feel it could be someone you work with. But this person definitely, they want love, and I can see it. There's someone who takes a little bit of time to figure out how they feel. They take time to figure out their feelings, you see. Um, they definitely want to kind of keep this to yourselves as well, I feel. Okay, just kind of keep it to yourselves to see if this is something. It's something worth working for and fighting for. They feel it. They see what you have to offer. They see the Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, you see. So there's a cycle ending in this new cycle beginning where uh, I, I feel they're going to reveal their true self. They're about to make a decision. They're like look, look, looking to see if you have other options with the Seven of Cups, you see, before they come in and put a lot of effort into this. So there's definitely the energy of love. The lovers, oops. Yeah, the star. Yeah, this is two people who could adore each other, but this person's releasing something that no longer serves. It could be yourself, all work, no play. Hmm? Is that you, Capricorn? <laughs> Time to take a little bit of a leap of faith and go down this path. But I feel it's this person taking the risk to offer you. Now, they want to start something. They want to start it off on the right foot. So there may have been something going on where they just kind of waited here. 
but I feel the timing is now. Like it's a now or never, I feel, because there's uh, people around you. But yeah, they are very, very determined to win. Very logical, uh, thinking things through. So there's a little bit of a head over heart kind of energy here. But that's the date. They're going to invite you out. Yeah, they're a little cautious, a little careful what they wish for. Uh, the Nine of Cups and that makes Ten of Cups. So they want this. But it's the invitation to invite you out or the initiation of that conversation. They definitely don't want to involve other people. They want to just keep it, I feel, between you until you kind of see where you're going. Uh, lovely. Uh, if some of you have... Um, well... If some of you have um, moved away from a group of people or a place where you used to go and you're going someplace else, you could find yourself in this person's place of business. But I feel like it's them coming towards you in that way. But they're cautious, but what, they're careful what they wish for. They're playing it safe, you see. Um, but I feel this person's hoping you'll accept this offer. They, they're in their head. They're kind of thinking about whether you will or won't. I think they, uh, this person is someone who, and you might be indecisive about whether you should or shouldn't. And you could be the one playing it safe, looking at the situation before you put any effort into it. But you are definitely more focused on work right now than your love life by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, that comes and goes, you know. Yeah, but I, oh, look at, there's that truth. So there's the little light bulb going off. That's what they're looking for, you see, is that truth. Uh, the to make the decision should they or shouldn't they reach out is there people around you that you're interested in do you have other options you see this is what they're looking for when they see the truth okay that you're focused on money <laughs> doing your own thing maybe even a bit of a homebody these days yeah they want to connect they're definitely physically attractive, but they, this is someone who also knows it takes two people to build a relationship. So this is why they're, that light bulb's going off, that little moment where they go, aha, you know. So they're coming up with some kind of idea, some kind of where to go, where to connect, what to say, okay. They're choosing their words carefully, choosing their battles, right. They don't want to um, get in, involve a whole bunch of people, especially gossip in the workplace, if that's the situation, so the star is this person letting go of something that no longer serves them, whatever that is. They could be someone a little flirty, you know, but they're they're definitely not, generally I feel, not a person who's afraid to take that leap of faith. But they realize it takes two people. So, yeah, and I feel it has something to do there. It's possible some of you have ended a situation with someone for not putting in enough effort. Maybe they know, they've heard some gossip. Yeah, they're coming towards you. They adore you. They see you as a star. See, this person sees you as their hopes and dreams. Um, so they're going to reach out here. They, they, they know they need to be the one to reach out. See, finding the confidence to reach out. This is taming the beast within themselves as well. You see, yeah, being confident about a decision. They want to win. This person's determined to win. So they might be a little sneaky. They might be checking you out in social media checking you out in your workplace or they know somebody you work with and they're finding things out if there is any sneaky with the seven of swords that's all it is because they're choosing their words their battles something that's worth fighting for because they're kind of not sure at first here <laughs> yeah but see they're taking a little pause a little pisces for some of you now i've seen this reading now, this is someone who's just kind of hanging around. They're doing that introspection, looking for truth. I feel they're seeing things from a different perspective. Something they need to let go of, things that no longer serve. That's that secrecy energy, hiding their true feelings, you see. Um, there's definitely, they have romantic thoughts. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's a physical attraction. But this is two people who work together to build each other up. It takes both people to take a risk. So you may be acting aloof like you're not seeing this person. You may be acting like you're more focused on other things, you see. But they're trying to figure out how to get things to go in their favor. And they know the timing is now. It's about the timing being right. But I actually feel like they're looking for an idea, something, you know, to show you that they're putting in effort, that they want this to work. So they're just a thoughtful person does a lot of thinking, but it's about taming the beast, being confident. So they're they're looking at this, trying to be confident. 
You know, this energy of kindness and compassion too, because we know the strength card is like that. But this has to do with um, this person, you know, working on this. This is something they're constantly working on, building themselves up too, right? The confidence to uh, ask out. They're like kind of like a little wallflower energy where they uh, just kind of hang back and hang there, you know. But they're seeing things from your perspective. There's something they may have heard that may have changed their perspective of you. And it's definitely in a good way. Tell me about the Hanged Man for Capricorn. Who is this Hanged Man? Oh, yeah, they're seeing the bigger picture here. This person's thinking ha Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person wants emotional film. But they're looking here, seeing the bigger picture. So this has to do with the future. And this has to do with that aha moment, the clarity. It's about putting themselves out there. They know they need to take a risk and just put themselves out there and open up, you know, like, hello, I'm here. And also the invitation could be something to do with, well, this could be a wedding, a festival. It's something that's emotionally fulfilling, it's, you know, happy home, happy life. But it's often with the invitation, the communication. I feel they're coming up with an idea. This is their hopes and dreams. They want this to go well. This person, I feel this person maybe admires you a little bit here too. Because we know the Queen of Pentacles and this is someone who has that Wheel of Fortune energy. But this is the abundance flowing. Like they see what you have to offer. That's what I see. You're... You're dependable, you work hard, you got good work ethic, uh, you're grounded, you have a comfortable, they see you as someone who has a comfortable home, uh, independent, but they also see that with that beautiful energy that you may have other options. So they're, they're definitely someone who gets in their head and procrastinates. <laughs> I, I, you've got this person, some of you, like, please let me know if you've had someone in the last two or three months that's reached out in your social circle, in your neighborhood, or a place of business, or through work, okay? Because the timing is definitely going to be different for each person here. So yeah, this is whether they should reach out or not, see? They're not so sure you'll reciprocate, you see? Uh, they want to reach out to you. They're hoping you do. This is their hopes and dreams. So they're kind of looking at different ways of uh, creative ideas to offer you a date, where to go, what to do, yeah, they, they kind of feel like you won't, <laughs> they're kind of back and forth, I'm not so sure though, because I feel, you know, it has to do with that, they would be so happy if you, they would really love it if you reached out, I, if you know of this, you're acting aloof, you're acting like you're busy doing other things, like you don't care, okay, Yeah, teamwork, cooperation, compromise, see compatibility. It takes two people to build each other up. So they're building up the confidence here to go down this path of reaching out. I mean, it's possible too. You may not have a lot in common uh, or you might, you see. And that's where that reciprocity, that back and forth is. They're going to reach out to you. They're hoping uh, that you will accept this cup, this offer, okay? Uh, and I do feel it has to do with two people talking, reciprocating. You may have, in a, it's also, this is also a person who will see things from your perspective. Uh, I feel they're, um, yeah, I, I feel they're actually very mature that way. And I, you know, but as they get to know you, as you share and talk and you find out you have things in common, like someone may be, uh, telling them some things that you have in common. I feel like there's other people involved. There could be some matchmaking going on at some point here as well. Because it's like they're, they're trying to, they want to win, so they're involving other people or asking them. But I feel like they're kind of not quite sure um, what to think here. But well, this poor person, there's a little confusion here. There is no doubt. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, uh, King of Pentacles energy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with some Pisces or Cancer in their chart. Maybe a little Gemini. Leo. 
See, this is about being confident. See there, this is somebody who works. You have things in common. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. You have things in common. They don't want you to get away. If they found out you're dating someone or you have other options or invitations, they're going to come in pretty quick here. So, yeah, multiple opportunities, things speeding up, and of delays. This person's not waiting anymore here. So you should be hearing something fairly soon here. Um, they could be a boss, too. They know your work ethic, I'll tell you that. Somebody that you work for or maybe worked for at some point and you got away. But, boy, do they want to win. They're, they're making plans for the future, something creative. They're hoping, they're, they're, they are playing it safe, like I say, watching their words, choosing their battles. If there's other people involved, I don't think they're going to, they'll get involved. They'll just keep right on going. So yeah, they're going to toss a few breadcrumbs, but not in a way where you know, they're not going to give you anything. It's not that kind of energy. It's just, they're going to drop a maybe a couple of hints or offer you something, hoping that you you take it. Okay, because they do want the success, but I feel it's a, some kind of creative idea of where to go and what to do is more than anything. Um, this is somebody generally pretty dependable. Yeah, they work hard too, I feel, and it could be somebody in your workplace. Yeah, see, Seven of Pentacles here, or Seven of Cups. See, they're looking at all the possibilities. They're fantasizing about building a partnership with you, working with you, um, you know, uh, being in a relationship, happy home, happy life. They see the bigger picture. There's something, they things they definitely know. Uh, and they're about to make a decision, but they're looking. What they want to know is if you have other options, first and foremost. Yeah, see, very logical. This is this person. They're, they they want to win. They're looking at the facts and only the facts. They don't deal with hearsay or gossip. So that's good. So <laughs> they so want things to go well. Yeah, yeah. See, and that's to do with whether you're single or you're in your relationship. So I feel that's going in their favor. Now, truth's coming out there. They know you're single. They are as well. Yeah, see, they're ready to take a leap of faith. I think you're both going to go for this, you know. I see a little reciprocity. You're not giving each other too much at first. Just kind of seeing what happens to see if it goes in your favor. But you got a whole new cycle beginning. I think you're going to have some dates with this person. Two or three dates before they say too much or open up too much. Okay, just kind of hanging out, chilling, doing things. Whatever it is that they offer you. They're trying to be creative, though. You know, and they're being cautious at the same time, being careful, playing it safe. But they want to offer you it. They're hoping, and it's possible too, they're going to, they're hoping you will indulge them by accepting the offer. Where usually I see uh, somebody dropping you a little breadcrumb, hoping you indulge them and you invite them somewhere. But it's actually, this person's not that way. They're actually very sincere. Yeah, the truth. They want to connect. They want to take so they want to talk. They want to get you alone and talk and have a conversation to see if you see eye to eye. They see it's possible from different perspectives. You may not feel the same. So they're I feel they're actually pretty balanced, but they're they definitely want to bond and get to know you. I feel they're confident about a decision uh, to reach out because they've definitely not been here for a while. And I've seen this person around you. For a while, some of you who's just keeping things quiet, keeping it to themselves, keeping it, you know, a secret. They're not telling anybody that they like you. But I feel there's coming to a point, the only way for them to get to the truth is to maybe ask people. That's why I feel there could be matchmaking. Or maybe you've got friends who are trying to hook you up with this person and they're kind of like, no, 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 I'll do this in my own way. But that's a leap of faith. See, leaving something behind, off they go. Pisces energy. So trust your intuition. You may know who this is. You may be acting aloof like you don't care. Just doing your own thing. <laughs> we know you can be that way. But I feel like they are too. It's like we got a couple people here with romantic thoughts. You know, some of you know who this is and you're you're both fantasizing here about connecting. But trust your intuition. This person knows what they all they need to know. Okay, at some point. They don't know everything, but they know enough uh, to come forward. So, yeah. Let's see where you're headed down this path. 
Yeah, you may have some friends in common. You may have some things. Some things you will not have in common, I can see. But it's about seeing things from each other's perspective. Agreeing to disagree and not really worrying about it. So could be all kinds of things. But yeah, it's about two people building each other up here. See, building up the confidence. It's going to take both of you. I think you both need to build up the confidence to kind of just throw caution to the wind a little bit and kind of live in the moment. So yeah, so Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, you're not so sure. You may, like I say, you may have some Cancer or Pisces in your chart. May do, possibly. Just trust your intuition. They'll reach out, okay? Yeah, I feel like you will, but it's also an energy of, of you both kind of building up the confidence to say uh, much to have that conversation i think you're going to find out you have a lot in common and if some things you don't that's okay you see but you're waiting for this person to reach out you're waiting for them to offer you i feel like you know and you're acting aloof and this is why i feel this person's unsure what's kind of going on here mm -hmm. Well, we know Capricorns and Earth signs in general can be a little confusing for some people. That aloof energy is its insecurity. It's just some people are a little more introverted and not all, but some are. Definitely Earth signs can be uh, definitely a group of people who are a little more introverted. So it takes a little bit of a little work to um, kind of open up to people. It's about feeling comfortable, feeling confident that you both feel the same. And that's what I feel is going to happen here. So let's grab a couple charms. Let's start with the Three of Cups. Yeah, so there's love. There's the word love. This is someone who's trying to figure something out about love. Likely about themselves first because I see the indecision. It could be because there's people around you. Um, you might have people trying to match make. I'm not so sure this person would like that, but possible. Could be a blind date kind of thing too for some of you. You might not feel the same as them, but we'll see we have a heart yeah there's definitely love yeah so there's definitely the energy of manifesting something long-term uh, commitment yeah this person's trying to figure out if you have other options i feel and i feel it's something they've been keeping to themselves they may actually be trying to in a sneaky way find out things through people around you in the workplace or your neighborhood or places you hang out if you're in love with anyone or um, how you feel you may have already drank from each other's cup you may have already shared some feelings and connected here because i do see success at least on your first date i feel like it'll be successful yeah that's what that is the first date successful this is something that could actually go somewhere but that aloof energy needs to go and they're definitely all work and no play and i feel like you have that in common all work and no play okay you've got things in common here with that three of pentacles tell me about this uh, let's have a look at this king of pentacles they could have a little virgo in their chart or they're just like that, which sometimes can be a little introverted. Someone who's stable financially, enjoying the fruits of their labors, working hard. Someone who always prepares for the future financially. They see you that way as well. That's why they, they feel pretty lucky here. King of Pentacles, the letter A, there's the transformation. You see? the butterfly it's an energy of someone who's kind of coming out of their shell because we're we're now getting uh, the dating see they're hoping that you'll go for this they're hoping you want this person you want this okay this person literally will give you whatever you want <laughs> once they get past that once they feel confident enough to communicate a little more transformation well, this is a work in progress let me tell you this person's definitely going to have to see the cycles ended here. So this person's now going to connect. There's the both of you coming out of your shells. There's a transformation. It's going to go in both of your favor. There's the communication, the judgment, the decisions being made. So it's a, put it this way. If this is someone who has other options, or if you do, when you connect, those other options are gone. Okay? Some of you just could be keeping your options open. Maybe they are, but I'll tell you, they're fantasizing and looking at you and i see that seven of cups twice 
making a decision. You both could be procrastinators too. That could be what's keeping this not going anywhere. But it will. Two of Cups, L. See the glasses, seeing. See, this is somebody who's um, been unable to make a decision, failing to see. Okay, something they're trying to find out if you're actually single or seeing anyone. So that actually is successful. They're getting the truth there. There it is, the date, the rose. Ah, let me give you flowers. So it's a dating. They're coming in in a normal dating energy. Look at that. They're looking for love, though. They may wear glasses. They could be someone fairly well known. And then we have the letter K and the letter B. So let's have a look at, I want to do that on the hanged man. Yeah, see, they're looking at things from in two ways. See, they, they put the shoe on the other foot. I, I like their energy. They take a pause, a little inner flexion. They have an aha moment, right, where there's this connection. They want to connect, and they want an emotional connection. They're not just interested in the physical. They need someone to connect with on that mental and emotional level. That's how this person connects. That's what they're looking for. They are looking for love. Two lovebirds on a swing. See, they're kind of, you know, like I say, they're definitely seeing things from your perspective. Or like I say, they're just hanging around checking you out. <laughs> Yeah, see reciprocity. You're waiting for this person to, you know, step up their game a little here. I feel some of you know. If some of you don't know, it's because you're focused on work. You're busy doing other things. This person's somewhere around you. There's the energy of strength and confidence. Being strong, being confident. Yeah, there's love here. See, they. Uh, this is about two people reciprocating. It's about breaking the ice, I feel, with all these butterflies, the change, the transformation coming out of that shell. We have a couple of people who are more than likely workaholics, all work and no play, and now coming out, going through that change where it's time to connect. This is someone looking for a partner. And you won't accept anything but, but you definitely want love. You want that emotional uh, connection. Two lovebirds sitting on a swing, see? See what the outcome is here. Yeah, this is something that could be long-term going down that path. Yeah, they're going to offer it to you. You're going to, your first date's going to be uh, pretty simple. It will lead to another date and another date. It's not something that's going to go super fast, but they certainly don't want you to go away. Uh, get away. They don't want you to date someone else because I feel this person is a bit concerned you have a lot of options because they're seeing this abundance you have. And the timing is now, like they need to hurry up. So there's the call, the communication, the decision. This is, it's got to go in both people's favor. And the cool thing is I do believe this person is someone who will compromise. If you don't, if you want to, if you want to keep it just between the two of you, you want to go on a date, but you don't want to go where all your friends and co-workers and things hang out because you want to keep it to yourselves. They'll they'll agree. It's all good. They'll see it from your perspective. Okay. But it could be them, and you may have to see it from their perspective, especially if they're a boss or somebody higher up than you and it is a workplace thing. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so there. this person's, there's that cancer energy. This person's absolutely determined for this to be successful. They're offering you this. They will pick you up, okay? So they do things, I feel, in somewhat traditional manner. You know, they're going to come and pick you up. They're reliable. If they make you an offer, they'll stick to it. So they will not stand you up. If you've been stood up by before, you may have that on your mind. But I really feel it's more of this person not wanting you to get away. They're in a hurry now. Something they may have heard. Okay. They're in your social circle. Yeah, they want to start something with you. High vibrational energy. If you, they're hoping you take this cup. They are cautious, a little careful. You may not feel the same. You may not be interested in them. But I'm going to tell you it's something that's going to make you really happy. There's an attraction, high vibrational energy between the two of you. You're on. You're going to be on the same page, I feel. Yeah, very nice. They have to be the one to start it, and they will. 
I, I feel that someone has been just sort of sitting there like that for quite some time. Could be like eight months or so even where they've been kind of using their words, thinking, becoming more decisive. But then, like I say, going back to indecisive till they start grounding themselves. So I wish you guys the best. Take care and we'll see you soon.